Welcome back everyone, we're still continue to discuss the two new operators. In this video we're going to discuss ranges or the range operator. So what I have here is an array called cities, the same as the one that we've created in the index operator app. And we're going to work with this, explaining how to work with range operator introduced in C Sharp 8. So I'm going to create a new array, I'm gonna call it copy cities. It's gonna be a copy of this array in here using the range operator. So to copy this array into this one here, we're going to type equal cities and I'm going to specify zero dot dot. This here is the new range operator five. What does this simply do? It's going to take a copy of this array, the cities from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it doesn't take this number in here, the 5. Let's create a loop to see the output of this. So for each city in copy cities, and I'm going to display the city. Let's go ahead and run. As you can see, we have all of the values in here. New York, Vienna, Madrid, London, and Cairo. If we were to do this here, four, we're going to skip one, which is the last one, Cairo. If we were to choose three, we're going to end up with New York, Vienna, and Madrid, and it skipped London and Cairo. Okay, so that's zero, one, two, and it does not take the last number in here. In this case it's three. Is it that? No. We can go ahead and comment this. I would like to leave this commented. Pick a copy, paste it in here, uncomment it. And we can go ahead and use the hat operator that we discussed in the index video. We can go ahead and do this. Five, two, one. Let's see how this is going to work. As you can see, we have from New York, Vienna, Madrid, and London. If we added it to the zero, we're gonna have the full list, as you can see in here. So it started from the back, five, four, three, two, and one. And again, this last number, it stops before it reaches this last number, the same as the three in here. And I can go ahead and make this from 2 to 0, which is going to take from this here to London and Cairo only. Let's run this. As you can see, London and Cairo only. I can go ahead and make this 1. You can go ahead and play whatever you would like to do with it. It's very flexible. Let's comment this. Take a copy and comment it. I would like to leave it for you to see the difference. We can go ahead also and do this to take the whole array. Only dot and dot or the range operator without any numbers, this is going to take the whole list in here. If we run this, it's going to take the whole copy. If we added a new one, it may be Tokyo. Let's run. And here it is. It's also very smart. Again, let's command this. I'm just leaving this here so that you can see the different select options that we have. I can go ahead and add a one in here, which is going to start from zero. This is zero, the beginning to number one, which is going to display only New York. We run this, as you can see, it's only New York. And go ahead and make it two. Now we will have New York and Vienna. Again, go ahead and make it three. I'm repeating this so that you can see each pattern, how it is going to work with you. Okay, now we have Madrid. I can go ahead and add the number in here. So I can go ahead and add one in here and leave this as it is. So it's going to start from one in here to the end, which is going to display all the list except for New York. Let's run this. As you can see in here, all the list except for New York had started from index number one, which is Vienna in here to the end. We go ahead and make it from zero the beginning from new york to the end i can go ahead and add as we did in here a limit or the end of this 
I can go ahead even and define the range itself. Range is actually a struct inside of C sharp. So I can come in here and type range, as you can see in here. It's a struct, represents a range that has a start and an end. Okay. You can go ahead and name it whatever you want, city range equal. And the way to define it is the same that we type it in here. So maybe from zero to five. Okay, so that's the range. And I have the option also to see the start and the end in a dynamic way. So I can just go ahead and display city.range.start. It's a property. They can go ahead and also display the end to see the start and the end. As you can see, 0 and 5. If I change it, maybe to 2 or something. Let's run this, two and five. And the amazing thing here is that I can use this range to copy this list in here in a dynamic way. Let's go ahead and see this. So I'm going to create a new, maybe I'm gonna call it new cities. That's my new cities that I'm going to copy. And it's going to be copied from cities and instead of typing the numbers like we did in here, I'm going to use this city range. As you can see in here. And voila, it is working. We can go ahead and use a for each loop to loop through this. The new cities, the one that I've just created, and I'm going to display the city in here. Let's run this. As you can see in here, from 2 to 5 is going to end up with Madrid. That's 2 and here is 5, the last one. If I change it, of course, the array, let's copy all of the items. 6. As you can see, here is all of the items. There are 6 now because I added Tokyo, if you remember. So plenty of options. It's very handy tool or trader that you can use in multiple situations. So that would be it for the ranges in C-sharp and see you in the next video.